most exciting part of this entire quiz. All teams, ready on the buzzer. I'm going to read out the questions from my cards. Question number one. Guide to Life. A V handbook for the perplexed is a book written by which famous fictional character? Dilbert. Minus 10, Christ! Move to question number two. Which business term gets its origin from the Latin for to dip, dip in, immerse, plunge? One word that we're looking for. Don't go for it if you're not confident, teams. It's a minus 10. Two questions down, none answered yet. Question number three. In 2004, Red Bull decided to buy this team. Jaguar Racing. Super 10 points to you, Oracle. Decided to buy this team and rename it as Red Bull Formula One Racing. What was the team that Red Bull bought? 10 points to you, Oracle, and that reduces that gap a little more. Question number four. Which group's name comes from the French and Sanskrit words for... Avanta. Which group's name comes from the French and Sanskrit words for moving forward or growth and stability? The answer was Avanta. That's 10 points. <laughs> Question number 5. Skin. Titan perfume. Skin is a brand launched by which Indian company marking their per foray into perfumes? Oracle! Four questions to go. 20 points difference between the top two teams. Question number six. What term was coined by Wall Street Journal to describe the apparent barriers Glass ceiling effect. The question was, what term was coined by Wall Street Journal to describe the apparent barriers that prevent women from reaching the upper rungs of the corporate ladder? The answer you gave us, glass ceilings, Christ University, that's plus 10 to you. L capital. LVMH. It's the investment the, off of LVMH. L Capital is the private equity fund established by Group Arnold. Mm. And if we look at the stats right now, they're 10 points behind and we have two questions to go, which means if they answer both the questions, they win this quiz. If TCS answers one, they're safe and they're definitely the winners today. Question number eight. Which English term derived from the French meaning strip of parchment? Escrow. Refers to a contract deposited with a third party. Escrow! It's a tie between Oracle and TCS. One question to go. And we'll know who's going to take that big prize back home. Question number nine. The last question of this quiz. Vogue. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Okay. Uh, Vogue Black. TC has hit the buzzer too early. That's a negative 10. Which means... And I'll read out the question I had on my screen. I, I'll read out the question. Vogue recently coined a term in its UK edition called Swags. What was Swags? What did Swags stand for? Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, it was possibly the most entertaining quiz each one of us has seen.